Hello, my fellow gamers, some Puggy Gaming, and welcome back to another episode from the Feed the Beast Horizons Daybreaker mod pack. Yep, we are now on episode 5, and just look at all the work we have done. This officially confirms we have moved out of our spawn base. So, yes, I am really, really happy with this. We can actually get some work and get this place going and growing like you wouldn't believe. But first things first, we still got loads and loads of bloody stuff to do. Uh, the bit, the things that I have been doing in between episodes is this. Like, remember my automatic, or should I say, semi-automatic farms that we had set up that, that were constantly doing all my seeds and wheat and all the trees for the apples, um, the saplings and also the wood? Well, I've just gone one step further. I've now fully automated it. And the way I've done that is to make, by using these little things, these auto project tables. Basically, what they do is if you connect an output on this any side of them say this side here and do that this is now going to be constantly producing planks of wood and then pushing them into here and this one obviously is going to be doing sticks which is going to be pushing them into here so that in itself is actually pretty amazing i can't believe i actually managed to do something like this right first things first i just need a couple stacks of these um and one stack of them first things first let's just place and uh, let me just say how many saplings right place some saplings in there not there and then place them there and voila we are now automated that and let's just do the same for the seeds and i really that ah, bollocks i completely forgot about the bummy soil <laughs> and that noise it still hasn't stopped i think it's something to do with the spawners though I haven't got an idea what we can do with them, but I'm not 100% certain at the moment. Right, I just remember we need to fill up there with a bottle of water. Right, we just, not one bottle, a freaking bucket of water. Do that first things first. I don't know why I've just placed three, but we don't really need more than that at the moment. So I'll do that, do that. Now let's just place our seed. Yeah, just the one bloomy seed. And um, we'll just try and get a few more. Throw them in there, like so. Wow, right, just throw these bad boys back in here. And we just need some fuel. Wow, that is awesome. So basically, basically the, how this thing works. Um, as you saw before, you know, the, the setup we had at the spawn maze. Once the item has been pulled out of here, i.e. the wood in this case, it gets pumped directly either to here if the furnace is full and then once it's turning, been turned into charcoal, it then gets pushed either into there or down into that one over there. And then in terms of the wood as well, if, it's, if that's already full with wood, the wood, in, in case it doesn't get pushed into this one here, um, it'll get pushed into here and then pushed into this one to make sticks and then make the hose for that and then you know the axes for that and that's something we just need to sort out now so let's just do that and do that and now this is pumping out sticks so let's do that and also we've got the cobble gem which is pumping the cobblestone into these slots here so I just, it's just absolutely fantastic setup. I freaking love this. Four hours of work just to do this. So I don't have to worry about it. All I have to do now is make sure this is chunk loaded so it can, it can carry on. Though I may um, alter it a little bit in terms of pull, it has to pull wood out of this one, one here. So we can just continuously pull this stuff in here instead of uh, using the pipe that goes to the furnace. But apart from that, I can't, I'm not complaining, I am so happy with this. So anyways, what are we going to be doing today? Well, there is a couple things that I really want to do. Like, first of all, I was just going to mention before, like, you know, with uh, the spawners that we cannot shift yet. I did spot something from this little mod here, which I still have no idea what the hell you do with. Though, it's just things thing here, spawn collector. So, that really leads me to believe that we can actually use this to actually pick up spawners and then place them wherever we want but to actually get started in this mod i think we actually need this but we're not actually doing this mod yet we can actually make the book 
Um, have we got any? I'm sure we got some cactus here. So just let me just do this. Place that cactus in there. Now we just need one bit of lapis. Uh, we got some flowers here somewhere. I know we have. Uh huh. Let's just do that. Do that. Um, we need some books. Not them books, not them books, but these books or three of these. Uh, we need one feather and we have we I'm sure we have some ink sacks somewhere. Really positive we do. Did I leave them in this one here? No. Ah. Okay, that's a little bit strange, but yeah, we can worry about that later on. Um, oh, no, 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 I can't. The freaking insects are right here. My God, what am I like? Bloody missed them. So let's just place in here. Uh, place them like that. No, these, that one goes there. Lapis goes here and that die goes there. That goes there and then this goes here. And they're in the completely wrong spot. Oh, black, it's red, green, blue. <laughs> right. Red, green, blue. One research thingy from Essential Craft. Let's just have a quick look before we move on to our next little task. Um, oh, this actually tells us everything we need to know about the mod. Basic. Um, learn the basics of magic and... Ooh. I think this is going to be... I think this mod here, we're going to have to leave for another episode because I've got other things on my mind that I want to get on with. Right. That really does look good, but... We will continue on with this, yeah, equivalent exchange free. I have finally figured out near enough how the basics of the mod works. I remember me saying about, uh, let me just bring the mod up, um, about these doors that you can use them to exchange. No, it's not necessarily true, because actually these doors are used in terms for crafting. So if you just right click on here, it can be used, say, to make the source in our chemical furnace or even the blue dust or like even these alchemic alchemical coal which I'm not entirely sure but I think you use them in furnaces but I'm not sure exactly how powerful they actually are so that is actually pretty cool but there is actually something we have found while watching uh, one of my one of the people I subscribe to um, that actually will help us automate equipment exchange so we can just set it up pump in just for example charcoal and then we can click get, get diamonds from that so in essence that is actually pretty cool so um, how do we do that well we use this mod here let me just stream down to this one not storage drawers simple condensers and it's this thing these things here here you can see we've got several different types i'm not entirely sure what the difference is between the three but obviously we're just going to go with the baseline anyway because i think this one here is quite expensive you need that one and that is eight thousand basically 32 diamonds this one I'm not entirely sure it's 2000 so we're just gonna go with this one which you just need eight of these ones which have a value of 64 so I think we can solve that we have some lapis even though that's 82 we still gonna have to burn through with it any through it anyway so that's like that and then we just need to make one of these so to make one of these what does it say we need to make a three by three structure with ash infused stone like you know when we did this little bit here and uh, then place a large alchemical chest in the center right click the center of any side with a, a surrey star and eight minimum dust in your on your person now what the hell is that thing a surrey star I really should have researched that let me just have a quick look a surrey star ah, right how do we make this we need one of those which means another diamond freaking going to waste and another one of those yikes <laughs> my god that is an absolute ton of stuff we have to make right let me just sleep first and then we can actually start with the fun right first things first we just need some um cobblestone let me just grab say i'm not sure exactly how much we should have just grabbed half a stack there we can just throw half a stack in here 
throw it in. Oh, plus we've already got nine ahead of us, so let's just say 16 of them in there, which is good. Um, then let's just go ahead and make this ash. You know, um, if you stone, look enough, where did I put, well, I'm sure we had some, oh, it's right freaking there. <laughs> and we got the ash there, so that's all right. We're just making some of the other stuff, uh, so we just place that in there. Then that, the oh, wrong one. Then that in there, let this one just cook up. And we just need another one of those, so that shouldn't be really much of a problem. Let's just place bollocks one in there then we just need one more smooth stone always missing something out <laughs> right let's do that let that thing cook up okay we just need that for that we can do the diamond off camera um and just simple condensive why did i do that it was just right there and then so we start eight minimum dust you seriously, I'm going to have to use eight diamonds for this. <laughs> right, I'm going to be right about once all this stuff is... I've got everything ready to go. Right, first thing that we've got to do to make our little uh, Gladian star is to make a large alchemical chest. And yet, I've had to run through more freaking diamonds. And I now officially have two left. So, yay me. So, to do this, we need to put eight of this minimum dust with a chest in. A little a duel. So, have we got our spare chest? Yep. So, let's do that there. Let's just go one and go two. And let this thing cook up. This, hopefully, should take less than a minute. Awesome, that is now done. That's surprisingly quicker than I thought it would actually be. Right, now we have to make the freaking little stone. So, um, let me just get down here. The Surrey stone. So, we need to place one of these with a piece of ash stone. So, let's just go like that. Um, go like you. And let's just throw one of you in. And I've got to make some more freaking... <laughs> Oh my god, I've got to make another piece of ash stone. Right, uh, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Awesome, now we have our Surrey stone. Now we just need to make one more because stupid me forgot to freaking do that prior to checking everything. And I put them in the wrong spot again. Okay. <laughs> I'm sure that was right. Uh, oh, a smooth stone, you numped it, right. Have I got... Ah, oh, god damn you. I hate this. Right, two sets, guys. Lucky enough, I had a piece of smooth stone in the furnace, so... Yay! Right, let's just cook this up very, very quickly. Come on, come on, come on. Voila! Right, one piece of that. So, let's just place you down like so. One, two, three, four, five, six... Eight, nine. Now he's just placed this large alchemical chest in here. And according to this, we have to, what is it? Right click the, cen the center of any of the sides with a Surrey star and eight minimum dust on you. So, um, let's do this. So, no. Okay. <laughs> ah, let's try that again. Right. Right, place. Right. Make a 3x3x3 three by three by three structure. Oh, freaking idiotic me. I'm going to have to make some more freaking of this ash stone. Yay! I've dirt up again. Right, let's try this again. At least now I've actually read the freaking NEI a little bit clearer. No, no, it's not yet. Right, let's try this again. At least now I've actually read NEI properly, and it says you place the chest in the center and then cover it with the ash stone. So, let's try that. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe I complete and utterly dirt that up to the hell. Right, let's try that. Let's do this, do this. Right. This is going to be very, very interesting just to see how exactly it works. Right. Get our stone. And now we have. A freaking Geldland stone. So now to make this, we just need to place 
eight of our verdant dust with that and voila I can't believe this right so let's place that in there eight of these and let this thing cook up oh I'm excited it's actually doing it pretty pretty quickly I can't wait till more stuff in this mod is actually created and here we go we've done it we have actually made it yay right where's our book where's oh there it is right I want to try this out now really really do Ooh. Right, what are we going to do this? Um, I know we can just take the world interaction upgrade. Or we could just place it down here. Let's just take a bit of stone so we don't... Oh, bollocks, wrong one. That was a complete and little dirt fail. <laughs> right, let's try that again. I didn't realise... I can't believe I forgot the lava. Right, might as well just take that out. Um, I'm going to place this on the top. Damn you. Always fall to the bottom. There we go. Right. Right. Okay. Right. Place you on here. Place one in world interaction upgrade there. Let's just cover you back up for the moment. Place our little table here. So do that. And now... Nothing's happening. It's it's filling up with this, but it doesn't know what's going on. So you just place the book, I do believe, in there. I think that's how it goes. <laughs> hmm. I know you pump stuff into it. And then you use a book to create stuff, but I'm not entirely sure. Because this has got... No, it's the wrong one. This has got stuff in. If we just look in here, we've got loads of goodies that we can make. Especially with the, like... Especially when we use our little um, transmutation tablets. So I'm not sure exactly why it isn't working on here. Because it should be, you, should be working. Ah. Right, um, I'll be right back. This has completely got me stumped. I let I need, really, really need to find out how the hell this thing works. Right, I finally found out how you bloody work the thing. I had to literally go on YouTube, find the mod offers video, which wasn't too hard, and watch it. Literally explain it within a minute of watching it. And it is so blooming simple. All you have to do is watch... Obviously, if you want in a certain thing, say in our case we want some charcoal, all you have to do... Place it in this section here, though you need to make sure you've actually learned it from what I've read from what he said. So place it in there, and then it's gonna con continuously count up all the cobblestone until it creates, um, in this case, 32 energy. So we are gonna continuously get charcoal. So that is just absolutely amazing. We have got that little tablet over here so we can just condense our blooming um, inventory down as and when we need to. So that is actually pretty cool when we when we do need to. But apart from that, I'm really, really pleased. So I'm thinking from this one, we're going to have to make a few world interaction upgrades. Maybe a good, good few of them. So say the pumping maybe 10 to 12 cobblestone. I would love to get 64, but I'm knowing how could I afford that just yet. So... Oh my god, this is absolutely freaking fantastic. I mean, fan blooming fantastic. <laughs> right, with that, I think we're going to leave it there with this particular section of the video. So, yeah, I just got to make some of these world interruption upgrades and we can go on to the next part. Right, anyways, in terms of this next part, um, you may remember in the last episode we made that digital miner, which is, I've no idea where, uh, sorry, I have no idea where it is on the map, though I have, though I, Ah, oh, fuck. I have no idea where it is on the map, though, no, in terms of, like, you know, for the waypoint, but when I come to look at the map itself, zoom out, shoo the way down, and, um, uh, just go a little bit further, just here. This is our digital mine. Our problem is the fact that we are struggling for power, and I mean, really bad. These two, um, little furnace generators, knowing hell keep up, they're only producing 40 per tick, and this thing needs, I don't know, I think it's about 16,000 in tick, so we need something a little bit more substantial. 
and there is a few items one of which was a little bit obscure watching a random horizons video just to try and think of, think of some ideas what we could do and it was this uh, i think it was from quantum where is it um is it quantum flux i think yeah i think that might be it quantum entropy accelerator and it looks extremely expensive you need steel your furnace your lava bucket and these things iron casings which is it's not too expensive actually can we actually make that now? Have we got any lava spare? Um, no, we have not. Only lava we've got is that one there. We'll have to go mining for that. Um, <laughs> oh, bugger. Well, we might have a look at that in a minute. So that one isn't too cheap. From what, I've, from what I saw, you place it next to like a cobble um, source, obviously what we have over there, and it creates power from it. So basically that is one, uh, one source of free power. And the other source of free power is... Uh, very simply, you may have heard of it. I've you may have recognized it because I've used it in previous ep like on the mod source server or like it was when it was the codex one, and that is from mechanism. Yeah, I think maybe the solar panels, but I want to have a look at that quantum thing first. Um, and where is the solar panel? I think it is, is it right at the bottom or never find anything when I try? I know what I want, but I can't really find it right there's something interesting but we don't need at the moment lucky 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 screw it we're just going to type it in might make life so much blooming easier right solar right we have two options either the really cheap solar generator i'm not sure how much it produces but i think it's about 60 g gj or it's the me mechanism power but in terms of rf no idea and then is the advanced solar panel right just this one is not too expensive it's just a case of you need these energy tablets enriched alloys and these solar panels which are more enriched alloys and god only knows how much osmium and then there's these things the advanced solar generator yeah solar generator these are the things i really do want though they are massively expensive they require four solar generators on top of freaking four four enriched alloys Oh my god, that is actually pretty steep. How much osmium do we actually have at the moment? Let me just have a look. Osmium. Um, we have 17 ingots, along with around about a stack and a stack and a bit of ore. So that's not too bad. So I think what we're gonna do, I'm just gonna might just go ahead and make that little quantum thing just to see what it's like, see how much power it actually produces, and then also get all the bits together so we can make the solar generators i.e the advanced solar generator no idea why i looked down i must have just caught the mouse so that is gonna be pretty fun so i'll see you in a little while guys right we're back um our little quantum uh, power little machines are now ready to go all we've got to do now is just to make our um advanced solar generator yeah we just got to do i think it's just these eight unless we've run out of a certain item um no no oh they don't let me stack what a freaking pain that is <laughs> okay i was expecting them to stack right that's that one done now it's just this one so one two three four five six and now we just need a whole heap of iron one two <laughs> oh that is so awesome right where did i put them cables they're still in my little backpack if they are, that's a freaking massive thing. Yay! Cool, they are. And I'll say this one thing, like, you know, this little, uh, um, I can't even let me speak. <laughs> Equivalent exchange little auto machine. It's absolutely fantastic. I've just left it here without obviously falling down here. Just put anything I need and let it cook up. It's just absolutely awesome. Really, really is. I've got so much redstone. I've got so much iron. God only knows what's, what else. So. Oh, I'm so happy about this. Right, now we've got to go the... How far is our blooming quarry? Um, eh, digital miner, sorry. 757... No, 760 metres. Whoop, the freaking can do this. is going to be a fun trek and a half, isn't it? Isn't it? So, time to get these things up and running. So, we just need to get rid of that and that. And try not to take up any dirt. <laughs> Always seem to freaking bring up stuff that I don't need. Right, there we go. And there we go. Now we just need our power cables. 
And my god, how much freaking crap have I got on me? It's unbelievable this. Right, throw you in there, throw that. I don't know why I've got them lilies. Don't need them at the moment until I need die, which is gonna, isn't going to be till much, much later on. So, um, let's just throw you over here. And I think we'll try out these little quantum things first. So, one, two, and three. And where are my pipes? Please don't tell me I've left them back at base. I probably have known me. Yeah, that's about right. I've left them back at base. <laughs> oh my god, what am I like? I'm always... Oh, this is annoying. Really is annoying. Right, I think on the meantime, let's just place these solars down. So, I think one goes here. Connected up. How much power are we producing? Um, no idea. Still not producing nearly enough power. Yeah, it's producing 600 joules per tick. I'm not entirely sure what the conversion is to RF. Should have blooming looked prior. Really should have looked prior. Right, let's throw you down. That's another. That's the second one. Hopefully, that'll produce even more power. It's going a little bit faster, but at least it's now hovering around 23. So that is an, in itself is a bit of a plus. And I think all I can do at the moment is at least just set one out. So let's just throw you down here. Um, and then throw, put one lava and the water down. One and two. Now, just world interaction upgrade. I can't believe I forgot that. Really can't. Right, throw them in there. Now, theoretically, these should actually start um, creating power. That's the plan, anyway. That's what should happen. I'm just, um, let me try something a minute. Right, let's bring up you. I oh, can't do that. I have to freaking destroy it to bring it up. That's a bit of a bitch. Right, let's try this. See if it works from the side. Are these, is this actually producing power? Let me just... No, it's not actually doing anything. Right, let me try this one. Okay, there's a little animation that's just happened. Huh. Yeah. Okay, that's a little bit strange. I'm sure they should work. You pump power into it, you pump stuff into it, and then they should create power for you. Don't know which from the back or the front. There's no GUI or anything to tell me what what's what. Okay, I'm a little bit puzzled by that. That one we might have to have a little look into in between episodes. Hopefully we can get them all working, but at the moment, it's putting stuff in. I don't know if it's creating power, but is this one to... Oh, it is doing power. Oh. Just not that fast. <laughs> That's how it works. That's um a bit of a surprise, surprise there. <laughs> Right, let's just put you down, grab another stack out of there, at least to give me some, a little bit more power than I was expecting to get. So how much are we doing now? Holy crap, we're actually running through this like you wouldn't believe. And there's a blooming helicopter flying outside, just what you want on a freaking Monday night. <laughs> so not bad, three of these, we need to make sure we've got power and two solar panels is more enough a digital miner that is actually pretty cool especially with silk touch and the, all the other things on i'm pretty impressed with that even though we have got e and we can basically cheat anything we want in now but it doesn't hurt always to have extra on top so that is always a bonus plus the fact we can't do anything with the osmium which is there and that's all the osmium we have at the moment but apart from that I'm loving please, digital mining is now up and running. We've now got auto 
We can now automate equivalent exchange three, which is just absolutely bonkers. So in essence, we don't have to mine. We just have to get at least one item or one set item that can be exchanged, i.e., you know, has the exchange energy on it, and then throw it into the book, and then we can throw it into wherever to create more of them. So that is actually pretty amazing. I just the thought of actually being able to create something just with that in mind and just go nuts with it is just, oh my god, maybe a bit cheaty, but meh, I don't care. We're playing Horizons, it's in the mod park, I'm making use of it. So, <laughs> yeah, oh my god, what fun we've had today. We've fucking, I've done so much work prior to the episode and now, look at this, full power in the digital miner and, like I said, equipment exchange free. My god, you're a beast of a cheaty mod. <laughs> And I think I better sleep, right? I think I better sleep. Um, dee -dee 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 -dee. Oh my god, that is. Oh, why does it have to be freaking night time before? Oh, and I can't sleep. Plus, my time has just gone off. <laughs> can we sleep? Can we sleep? Can we sleep? Seriously? Oh, I think screw it. Can't. Let's just leave it like that. Anyways, I think on that note, before it gets dark. Um, we are going to end it there so if you have enjoyed it and really do want to see much more of this fantastic mod pack which is still screwing me over with all the new mods please do make sure to like comment and most importantly please do subscribe because every single like comment and subscription helps my channel so so much i'll see you next time